Hello, darling Talita. Uh, this is Daddy, um, wanting to um, wish you a happy ninth birthday. I wish I could share it with you, but uh, you know that your mother doesn't allow that. So I've made this video, and it's taken at a place called uh, White Hill View in uh, East Hampshire. And uh, it's a bit of a blustery day, which is why I've had to um, uh, adjust the audio that you can hear my voice. This is uh, a beautiful place, as you can see, and it's where um, a book um, and a full film is uh, set. Pause the video to have a read of this for a few moments. And now have a look at this as well and pause the video. Maybe um, your mummy can take you here one day uh, because in the summertime particularly, I think it would be really beautiful. So um, White Hill uh, is a village in East Hampshire, as I say, it's um, it's uh, just about a mile south of Borden. Um, the nearest railway station is, is called Lys. Um, and it's a lovely place to come and visit. But let me tell you about uh, the, um, the background to this location. Um, it's, um, it's where um, uh, an author uh, called Richard Ab Adams um, wrote a book called Watership Dan, and that was made into a film, as I told you. Um, it features a, a, a small uh, group of rabbits, um, and basically um, they live uh, nearby in a location called uh, Newbury. They want to, which is West Berkshire, of course, they want to escape um, from there and find somewhere new to live. And they do. They find Watership Dan. But the problem is that uh, there are no female rabbits called does. Um, and so they try to find some uh, female rabbits for company, and uh, eventually they do. Anyway, I won't spoil the plot of the film. Um, it's important for you to um, it's important for you to try and read it or watch it if you can. It's on DVD, and uh, hopefully you'll um, you'll enjoy the film. It's a little bit of a sad ending though. Daddy loves you always.